food is art in which you don't have the evidence of said art after it's done. I mean, you know, there's no evidence of it whatsoever. So all you have is the, the folklore of it. To me, the, the, the curiosity level was, one, how do you record and document such a thing? Mm -hmm. Like uh, Ludo, for instance, uh, right. of, of Tuamek, French chef uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, when you go to his restaurant, uh, I describe it as uh, kind of like a, a posse coat with the Wu-Tang Clan. The choreography is so airtight that I know that they put a lot of uh, 10,000 hour Gladwellian hours in, mm -hmm. into, into this preparation. There's one particular dish, I'd, he swears that it was planned, but literally he just looked at me and was like, yeah, I'm gonna give you ice cream with grilled cheese. And I was like, huh? <laughs> and literally, like I felt like. That was created for you. Hey, you're just making this up on the spot, aren't you? But it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's I feel that sort of spontaneity and that sort of joy that they have. I sort of compare it to being a musician. If I'm DJing, mm -hmm. Um, and I'm catering to the crowd. One of the things that could always derail me is if a fellow DJ comes and watches me in the booth. The things that are obscure to me and only special to a certain few, I'll be tempted to play like a, a rare Michael Jackson demo that might make DJ number one want to say, yo, how did you get that? But then the whole audience is like, 